some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with a sovereign citizen who believes that the Tenth Amendment grants him the right to travel without a license. Well, certainly not the first one that I've ever heard that misquoted uh, the Tenth Amendment. In fact, it's quite surprising that they even know about the Tenth Amendment. At any rate, that's going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, can you roll down the back? Can't see in the car, please. Can't see in the car. All right, thank you. How you doing? Hey, what's up? How's everything? Good evening. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, I do. Um, what crime did I commit? It's a VTL violation, all right? What's a VTL violation? A VTL violation. All right, um, traffic law, all right? hold on. Before we go any further, officer, I just want to let you know, I want to put you on public record, put you on public notice that you're being recorded for your safety, my safety. Oh, and your cell phone? All right, cool. Yeah, because I got that right. No, yeah. Well, at least he understands some of his rights, but he doesn't completely understand anything else. So, well, we'll give him a point there anyway. But let's continue on. Hey, hey look, you're recording right, right cool, here. No, no, I just oh, want to make sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Camera's off, actually. Now, now, now it's on. All right, cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, oh, let's start this over, all right? I'm Officer 3, all right? Okay. You're being pulled over right now because your license plate, all right, is not a valid license plate. And there's no plate light, so it's hard to read it, all right? So you need a, a, a license plate light above the license plate. So it looks like under the trunk lid, when you pop the trunk lid, there's two bulbs that you could change. They're, uh, they're burnt out right now. That's why you're being pulled over, all right? All right, so before we go any further, yeah, I'm just letting you know that you're being recorded. Cool. I'm being recorded. Excellent. For my safety, your safety, and for court purposes, if we have to go there. Dude, uh, this is a tired old game that you softards like to play with the officers, threatening them with court. I mean, these officers are in and out of court all the time to uh, testify on what they saw during many of their encounters in the streets, such as traffic stops and other uh, issues. So, dude, try again. Try with something that might actually work. Now, um, listen, um, I'm, I'm no, 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 no. So now. I'm just letting you know that I'm putting on public record. So now, my next question to you is: What's up? Are you gonna um, uphold the Constitution? Of course. Yes always. or no? Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, duh. It is their job to protect the uh, Constitution, but you don't even understand what the Constitution is fully, considering that you tried to bring up the Tenth Amendment argument later on in the video, not even fully understanding what that amendment is. And you know what? It is a sight to behold. So what crime did I commit? VTL violation, all right? Is that a crime? Yes. What crime is that? Well, driving is a privilege, all right? Driving, all right, yes. but I'm traveling, so I'm letting you know that right now. All right, I have uh, I would suggest that you look up the actual term for uh, application or a apply, because it does not exactly mean beg, but uh, nice try, dude. Now, as far as the issue with uh, traffic violations not being crimes, I mean, to a certain extent, they're very minor ones. But if you continue to push the envelope, then they can increase in severity depending on how much you act like a complete jackass. Free rights to travel. You're traveling. Yeah. So. Your is blocked, sir. Yeah, Why that's that? for private reasons. So can you get me your sergeant? He's right here. Okay, so can I speak to the sergeant yeah, then? Sure. Is everything okay tonight? Yeah, I'm just dropping my girlfriend off. Okay. Where do you live at, bro? I live down there. My girlfriend lives over here. All right, just, uh, yeah, this is the sergeant right here. Just talk to him. How are you doing, doing officer? How are you, sergeant? Phil? How are you doing? My name is Joseph Sato. Um, do you know I have the free rights to travel? Okay, I understand that. Okay, and now. I respect that. Is there an RAS over here? RAS, I'm sorry? Yeah, is there a reasonable, articulable, um, suspicious of why I'm being pulled over? Yes. Okay, soft hard. I mean, this is a bit of a grammatical mistake on your part. I'm willing to overlook it, but everything else is just ridiculously stupid. So it's going to be reasonable, articulable suspicion, not suspicious. 
But let's carry on to the next point. He already gave you the reasonable articulable suspicion earlier. But you don't want to recognize anything that they say as such, so... But that's on your part. So let's carry on. Okay, what crime did I commit? The crime that you committed is a vehicle and traffic law violation. Okay, the VTL of New York State. And that's a crime? Yes. It's oh. a violation. It's a violation. Because a violate... crime is two different things. Okay, no, and I understand that. And I'm just going to explain to you as a police officer or okay. a police officer in the city of New York, the state of New York, a violation made in our presence is a crime and it is a possible arrestable offense. Now, Really? Just, yes. Now, to further just explain, the reason why we're asking for any type of identification that you might have is because in New York State, it is a privilege to drive a motor vehicle. Okay. It is now. the only time in New York State that you have to supply a type of identification. So if you have any type of paperwork, anything with your name on, just so I can verify who you are. Uh, yeah, try again, dude. Uh, your interpretation would not make it in a court of law in any state. We do have to fill out a, a report called a vehicle report a for every car, that, every car that we stop. It's a uh, city law that they enacted that we have to document. That's the reason why we're asking, or I could just take your information verbally if you'll allow that. Yeah, you can take my information verbally, but I'm letting you know right now, I'm traveling. You're trying to give me a violation for driving, and I'm not driving, I'm traveling. I have the free rights to travel. And I now, if you're, that, trying I to, if you're trying to implement a violation for driving on someone who's traveling, you're violating my liberal rights and you're being recorded and you're trying to tell me that that violation applies to me when I'm trying to let you know that I'm traveling. All right. I didn't eat the red light. No, I, no. Didn't, I didn't put nobody's life in danger. Dude, you're contradicting yourself right here considering that running a red light is a traffic violation and you're trying to say that there are no traffic violations. I suggest you go check your script to make sure you were on point right there because it sounded like you were sliding a bit off at that point. I didn't commit a crime. I'm dropping my girlfriend off. Oh, and I, I told him to say that. Trying I to tell, you're trying to implement but, motor uh, vehicle violation codes on someone who's in an automobile traveling. That's two different things, Sergeant. Okay. You uh, do know I have the free rights to travel. Yeah, look, I have look. a I have a ninth and tenth amendment protective right to travel. You do understand that, correct? Uh, nope. Uh, the ninth amendment does not grant you the right to uh, be behind the wheel of a car, especially uninsured and uh, without plates or a license. And the tenth amendment uh, gives the states the right to create the laws that are necessary for that kind of thing so i would not advise you to try it in front of a judge see never mind go ahead and try it before a judge and see what kind of reaction you get and be sure to show us the uh video camera footage of it because i'm sure it would be priceless to see the look of astonishment at your stupidity look i'm not gonna sit here and i'm, I'm not gonna no, do just that. asking you a no, question no. i'm asking you a question you you do understand it yes or no Because you, we're going to go to court because you're trying to give me a violation ticket. So that means I'm going to have to go to court at one moment. Right. So like I told your office over here that I am recording for court yeah, no, purposes. That's, that's totally fine. Everything's recording here. Yeah. So what did I do wrong that has to do with, Can, uh, with traveling? Um, what's your first name, sir? Joseph. J-O-S-E-P-H. And your last name, sir? Yes. Which I shouldn't be giving you my information because you don't have an R-A-S or S-A-F. Other than this interaction, though, how's your night going? It's going great. Just trying to go to sleep yeah, now. Right. Sure. Joseph, right? Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to argue with you back and forth. I'd rather keep this conversation, you know, civilized like we're doing. <laughs> but it's, it's all right. I'm just trying to explain to you, like, me as a law enforcement officer, yes, our the, the VTL states for the state of New York, you're operating, you're traveling in this vehicle in the state of New York right now. Be eight, nine, I'm, you know I'm traveling on my land. I have the rights to travel. It has nothing to do with a vehicle. This is an automobile. Play whatever war semantic word games you feel like, but uh, 
in reality, uh, they're all pretty much the same thing. Oh, yeah, and the traveling your lands almost sounds like uh, you're uh, not just a sovereign citizen, but a Moorish sovereign citizen. But that's the only piece of that puzzle I've seen so far that would indicate that. So I'm just going to assume that you haven't dived that deep into the Sovereign Citizen movement yet that you haven't embraced the Moors yet. So let's carry on. I have the free race to just, just in case if you want to know if I, if I own the car or not. Current owner. You can see it right there. Just in case if you want to know because of that. I'll do that for private reasons because I have that free right to do that. Yeah, no, I understand that. He has, he just moved, oh, your title. Oh, you have the title for it? He yeah. pulled it out. Right. I got all my paperwork with me. All right, man. Yeah. Yo, my man, listen. Yeah. We're going to cut you a break today. Okay. We're not going to write you a ticket. Uh, we probably should be writing you a ticket for multiple things, but we're not going to do that today, all right? All right. Listen, this whole act that you're pulling, this it's made up. It's not a real thing, all right? I understand you you, maybe so, it so. works for you for certain things, but it's a made up thing, all right? All right. See you later. All right. Have a good yeah. night. Yep. Drive safely, all right? Me too. Fuck out of here. Drive safely. Oh, are you butthurt that the officer wouldn't use your verbiage and try to school you on the proper terms that you thought you were trying to use? Well, that's your problem. Go ahead and be upset all you want. And you were incredibly lucky that the officer let you go like this, considering it could have been so much worse. But seeing as how you didn't exactly escalate the situation to the breaking point like a lot of other softards, uh, I can see why the officer let you go, but next time it may be different. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.